Here is a quick view for the initial setup with UI. There are two panels, one for logging in which only consists of one button. The second panel is when the login has occurred. Moving on to creating the two necessary scripts. Before getting to the code, make sure the authorization package is installed. First time adding a service, just link the project through the settings. Ensure project ID is set. The important bit here, Unity Player Accounts. We must get the client ID. The link go to dashboard will take us to the page to acquire this ID. On this page, we add the Unity Player Accounts. Here is the ID, we click this and copy our client ID and paste it.
we are now prompted from browser to login. From here we can pick login with a Google account or Apple. Users can also create an account with email. In a future video, I will go over how to connect multiple accounts with the same player. Here we can see the assigned ID for this account, it's linked to Google email. Now let's switch to Android and build an APK to test this on mobile device. I will once again log in through desktop and keep ID in view. This way it will be visible if ID match another device. Here is the screen recorder of the Android device. Both IDs match perfectly, this indicates the account is the exact same. Now this opens possibilities for cross-platform saving and other features across devices to the same user. The most important part is we did not have to do any complicated setup for authorization. The Unity Player accounts takes care of the hard part. This options is arguably much more secure than a self-made auth login system. More of this kind of videos are coming up. Consider subscribing to the channel. Give a like. Have a good one.